from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Merry Christmas Eve to you. Shay Ryan has your forecast a heading into the holiday coming up in just a moment. First, though, here are your top headlines. Volunteers and Metropolitan Ministries are making a final push to help hundreds more this Christmas Eve. They believe steeper prices for groceries and gas, as well as the ongoing housing crisis, are both contributing factors to high demand. And over at St. Vincent de Paul Community Kitchen and Resource Center, which feeds the homeless and hungry every single day of the year, staff members and volunteers have noticed a similar trend. In November, we had 486 different people come through our doors for a meal and um, supportive services, and that's a huge number. It's, it's a larger than we've ever had in a month. They might not be homeless, but they're not stable. You know, they're living with a relative or a friend. They're not, they don't really have a place of their own. Um, some people have different jobs that pay less money, um, and they're not able to make all the ends meet. Metro Ministries still looking for gifts for teenagers and gift cards. You can drop them off at their tent on Rome Avenue in Tampa through 3 p.m. today. A large fire this morning destroyed a warehouse located just off Causeway Boulevard in the Claire Mel City area. Crews responded just after 530 this morning, found the 5,000 square foot all metal structure fully engulfed. Authorities say it housed cars, fireworks and other items. It took more than two hours to put the flames out. They're watching hotspots right now. The cause is still under investigation. Fewer Americans are losing their homes right now, even though the foreclosure moratorium ended nearly five months ago. According to real estate data company Black Knight, the number of foreclosures in the U.S. in November fell by nearly 16 percent from a year ago. The number of properties 90 days or more past due, but not in foreclosure, also fell dramatically. However, fewer Americans are now prepaying their mortgage. Experts say expect that trend to continue as lending rates rise. NASA hopes to give the country a big Christmas gift. The space agency plans to launch the next generation of telescopes and it appears to be on track for 720 tomorrow morning. The James Webb telescope is designed to replace the Hubble telescope. NASA will stream that launch on its website. For the 66th year, NORAD is helping us track Santa Claus as he travels around the world to deliver presents. It's been a tradition since 1955 when a newspaper ad told kids they could call Santa directly, but the number was misprinted and went to NORAD. So hmm. They took advantage. The Santa Tracker website NORAD NORADSanta.org shows you where the jolly old elf is, but features lots more than the Santa Tracker. There's games, a movie theater, holiday music, and even a store. If you're hitting the roads early, there's a NORAD Santa Tracker app for your phone, so you can't miss it, Shay. NORAD. Yeah. Taking advantage of all the web hits they're going to get today. Yeah, exactly. And there's no weather related issues getting Santa around Florida, so uh, no weather delays here. Uh, we are looking at a gorgeous day ahead of us. Lots of sunshine, more of what we've seen in the last uh, 24 hours or so. We've got a cool start and a warm finish, and we're going to stay just like this right through Christmas Day. After that, we're going to start to see a warm up both in the morning as well as the afternoon, and it'll become more noticeably muggy and warm in the afternoons as we get into next week with those temps well above average in the low 80s for highs. James. <laughs> that is the reason that we live here the way the next five days look. Thank you, Shay. Get your news 24-7 right here on our free streaming news channel.